Hi, Ted Padova here again. I'm going to talk to you in this video about how we can add state drop-down lists and country drop-down lists and do that without having to type in all the values for each one of those lists. In 30 seconds, once you have a field, you can just copy and paste it into a document. Now, the first thing I will be honest with you is going to be a little bit difficult just to find the fields that you need. But it's readily available, and all you have to do is go to your uh, web browser. Let me open mine here and search for something like states field in HTML. We want to get a field on a web page that lists all the states, or if you want countries, one would that, that would list all the countries. So I have a list here, and I have found one. And over in Acrobat, once, once you do find one, what you want to do is copy the URL. And what we're going to do is use Acrobat's convert web page to a PDF. You can't just save the file. That won't work. What you have to do is go to the file menu to create uh, a PDF from a web page. Okay, so we're going to open this. What you're going to do is type in the URL that you want. And what we want to do is take a look at capture multiple levels here. I want to click on this. Make sure that you only have one level and make sure that you have stay on same server and stay on same path, both checked. And once you do, click on Create, and you'll go to the URL that you copied and pasted in here, and it will, Acrobat will take a little bit of time because it depends on how many pages are on that one path. And uh, in a short time, though, you'll be able to convert the web page to a PDF file. Now, I have converted one already. I've got one here that's a states, and you'll see that I deleted all the background information, but I actually got this off a web page. What I'm going to do is click on this field, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go to my form, and you see that I have a state area here. I'm going to paste this, and I'll go to edit and paste. And this field obviously is going to take a little bit of editing, but that's okay. It's a lot less time than it would be to type in all of those states in a drop-down list. So I'll size this, get it about right. Now I'll open up the properties, right-click. And what I'm going to do is change the attributes for the appearance of this field. So I'll, in the properties dialog box here, what I'll do is, first of all, I'm going to take beveled off. So let's choose solid. And then what I'm going to do is take these colors off. So I'm going to click on border color, make that transparent. And then I want to close this, make the other uh, fill color transparent as well. And then for uh, the font size, notice that I have the fields, all of these fields set to 10 point, but this field is going to have some long names in it. So it might be best if I just leave it at auto. It may be a point to a point and a half smaller than the other fields, but that's okay. I'll click close here. Whoops. One more thing I want to do is obviously change the name. Notice that I have parent-child relationships on these fields. So it's Bill dot, uh, Bill being the parent, and then what follows is the child. So I'm going to create hierarchical names um, for any fields that I introduce in this form. In this case, it's going to be Bill dot state. I'll click uh, enter. Oops. Let's make that bill. And then close it. And let's take a look at uh, working on the form and see how that looks. Let's go to the hand tool. And you'll notice that I have my drop down menu and all of those fields nicely. Uh, that list nicely falls right into place here. And that's how you can add 
a state drop-down menu in Acrobat. We can also do that with a country. We can do it with uh, zip codes and uh, area codes for phones and things of that sort. Anything that you find on an HTML page, you can capture, if it's not secure, uh, you can capture the page and you'll have access to whatever fields are on that page. In some cases, JavaScript may not work exactly the same, but for the most part, the fields that you uh, capture that are list fields or combo boxes, things of that sort, will work just fine. Once again, this is Ted Padova, and I wish you all the best in all your forms creation activities.